Hair identifies us. People can immediately look at us and identify who we are by our hair. I'm Tamika Swint, and I'm the Executive Director of Styles for Kids. We provide basic hair care services for transracial adoptive families. Smooth. Smooth. You like it? Yeah. It is important for transracial adoptive families to make it a priority to get hair care for their kids. It helps for the development of a healthy self-esteem, connection with their culture, and to have a good experience with their hair. It's critical to their success. So today, we're going to be moisturizing your hair really good. Before we found Styles for Kids, it was trial and error, and finding Tamika and Styles for Kids was wonderful. When she walks out of here, she's proud. She walks out and she goes to school the next day and say, here I am, look at me. It's okay to look at me. My daughter is five. I want her to love her hair and embrace it. I want her to feel free to express herself. She's super excited about things like beads and long braids and we've kept things pretty simple so far. So we're excited to learn some new things. I absolutely see a difference when Styles for Kids team come in and provide hair care services to our youth. Their confidence immediately is boost. You see immediate smiles. The youth even feel more confident to care for their hair even after the services is provided. What I'm saying is, when other people see, I want them to say, oh my gosh, that mom knows what she's doing. your thing. <laughs> I know. When okay, I would go to the barber shop, you know, I never really felt like I belonged. But once Tamika started doing my hair, it just felt like more confident in myself. It became a conversation starter, and I was able to make friends based off of my hair. And I was also able to relate to other kids with similar hairstyles, and it just made me more confident just in life, I think. From my experience, the kids' self-confidence grows because they brighten up after they get their hair done. They talk, they want to talk, they're approachable, they don't mind giving hugs after they get their hair done. It's like before, they're all in themselves and a little self-conscious, and it's just like after they get their hair done, it's like a release. Like, wow, I can be me. Like, I look good. And if you're not properly moisturizing the hair, the hair becomes dry, it becomes brittle, and it's going to break off over time. You're going to see a lot of split ends. We have two and workshops hair. that we currently offer. Our first workshop is our basic hair care workshop where we teach the fundamentals of styling Afro textured hair. You're twisting it in the same direction, but you're crossing it in the opposite And our second class is a hands-on class where we provide models or the clients bring their children and we get a chance to practice doing real hands-on styles with them. She's such a good soul and gives to the community and gives to all of us with her knowledge. And I'm privileged and honored to be part of this journey. The work that Tamika is doing is very important. You know, so many times we get busy with the day-to-day -day routines of our lives. But anytime I have called and reached out, Tamika and her team are there. There has never been a day or time where they have not made themselves available for us. I've always been passionate about doing hair. I've been doing hair since I was about 10 years old. And so I was really, really, really excited when I started Styles for Kids because I realized that what I was doing was so much bigger than just doing hair. And that really inspired me. And as a matter of fact, it's what drives me on a daily basis to want to change someone's story through providing beautiful hairstyles.